Peace, family. I just wanted to make a quick video challenging this dude, Mitch McConnell. It's, got, it's not going to be nothing real intricate. It's going to be a little short example. He said that reparations shouldn't be paid on one reason. He said that uh, that the people who was uh, affected by it are not alive, whether the people who perpetrated it or the people it was perpetrated against are not alive. Well, I found this story about a victim in North Korea. He was supposed to be detained and all of this. But it says North Korea is ordered to pay Otto one buyer's family over $500 million in damages. So North Korea, they're not even paying the person it happened to, they're paying a descendant. A federal judge on Monday awarded $501 million. This is an American court. <clears throat> a federal judge on Monday awarded over $500 million in damages to the parents of Otto one buyer the American college student who died last year after suffering severe brain injuries while detained in North Korea in a lawsuit that had been filed against the uh, regime. But it's the Judge Barrow A. Howell, the United States District Court for the, uh, Columbia, concluded that North Korea was liable in torture, hostage taking, and extrajudicial killing of uh, this uh, student. So the United States found the government of North Korea liable for what happened to this student in their country. Even though the student himself is dead, they're ordered to pay the family. So when you come into the institution of slavery, basically we are their descendants. They're not our descendants. We are their descendants and we survived this treacherous event and nobody is being held liable for it. If you can be, if the family can receive the payments for what happened to their son, Surely the sons and daughters can receive payments for what happened to their father. And it's not individual payments for white citizens. It's from the U.S. government who set up the environment and nurtured it in such that slavery was able to blossom. But this is a free black society presentation. They have all these excuses when it comes for you. But when it's daytime, they can make it up. So they got North Korea being liable to pay somebody's family $500 million because they died. They get 500 on a twerk claim. So know that it's an uphill battle with these people because they're going to keep making excuses. Peace. Were you aware that your great-great-grandfathers were slave owners in Alabama uh, before the Civil War? And has that revelation caused you to change your position on reparations? You know, I find myself once again in the same position as President Obama. We both oppose reparations. And we both are the descendants of slaveholders. During my visit to Yad Vashem, I was given a gift inscribed with those words from the book of Joel. Has the like of this happened in your days or in the days of your fathers? Tell your children about it. And let your children tell theirs and their children the next generation. That's why we're here. Not simply to remember, but to speak. I say this as a president, and I say it as a father. We must tell our children about a crime unique in human history. The one and only Holocaust. The one and only Holocaust.